Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas. Um, today's painting will be the angel wing pour. I've never done this before, but surprisingly this time I did do a little bit of research. There's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to do it using the five slot split cup. Um, this one actually has a handle and is from Mixed Media Girl. I'll link that below. Um, there is paint in there, but it's all dried, so I'm not worried about it. Um, the setup will be uh, the Malibu sky for the background, so I'm going to coat that. I'll speed you up or skip over that part of this process. And then the angel wings will be the gold and the white combined in the split cup. So what I'll do is I'll actually fill this up first and then do the background, um, and then we'll come back and do the pour. So just so you can see how I'm going to fill the split cup up. And I think just to extend my Malibu sky, um, I'm going to pour some white in here and shake it up really well so it's all one color. So it will actually be lighter than the normal Malibu sky, but I just don't want to run out of paint. <laughs> okay, so we're back and I've transferred it to the 16 ounce cup. And so I'm going to fill up these middle three compartments, not all the way because again we're doing a small one, but with all the same color here, the same background color. And because the camera is in the way, I'm just going to kind of guess how much I'm putting in here. Also, if I put too much in the cup, I can always um, use it for leftover paint pour. I've got a couple of those cups in the making. Okay, we're going to call that good. And then we're going to pour white and gold in here. All right, so we've got our cup filled up here. So now I will do our base coat and then come back and do the pour. Right, so we are back. We've got our cup and our painting. Um, we're just gonna get started. So the idea is these two sides are the colors that make up the wings. This is just background color so they don't really touch. Um, and then you kind of want it to run down so i'm going to lift the canvas up a little bit sorry for the glares from the lights and then just kind of start here and i think it's just kind of like a straight pour we'll find out if that works i'm going to wiggle it a little bit to get like that feathery design i can't really see what's happening under my hand so i could be running a lot of paint right off the canvas like where my hand is. I am afraid this might crack while drying because there is going to be so much paint on the canvas. That's why I, like, I sped you up through the process so you didn't really see the whole process, but I ran a ton of paint off of this background. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run more of it this way. I definitely think it looks like it's supposed to, but there's just so much paint on here. I'm going to take a stick here and see if I can do something with this blue. I think it looks better than it did. I think what I'm going to do is let it dry, knowing that it might crack, <laughs> and go from there. All right, here's a close-up. Here is the wings. We've got some really cool cells coming in through that white from that gold. Here's this part that I'm not really sure about, but I think it looks better than it did, so I'm happy with what I did there. And here's the other wing. So yeah. And then... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and it makes you happy.